Discord, the home of e-girls and the chronically online, is now the hotspot for leaked military documents. And these leaks came from an argument in a Minecraft Discord server. God, I love this platform. On April 9th, 2023, Bellingcat, an online investigations platform, was browsing through the internet to find information about the Ukraine and Russia war. And they were monitoring a Telegram channel called Donbass Devushka, which I definitely pronounced incorrectly. Donbass Devushka. But it had a message that contained leaked military documents. Now, these investigators dived a little bit deeper into the internet and found similar military documents on the worst place on planet Earth, 4chan. Now, the best part about all this is that there was one image in common between the Telegram channel and the 4chan post. It was a map that showed how many people got KIA'd in the war. Now, one thing to note is that that Telegram channel is a pro-Russian Telegram channel, and they reported that Russia was winning and had less casualties. And on 4chan, that photo of the map said that Ukraine was winning and they had less casualties. Now, of course, these these differing numbers raised a lot of red flags, and the Bellingcat investigator digged a little bit deeper. A closer examination of the second image, with the much higher Ukrainian KIA numbers that was posted on Telegram, shows crude image manipulation. What I had going on in my mind when I read this was, all right, these are the numbers, everyone. Okay, let's just, oh, oh, boys, we're winning. Let's go. Now, here's the thing with both of these 4chan and Telegram military documents leaks. Neither of them are the original. Now, if you don't know, Discord is popped up a lot recently in the news regarding the war, and I think a little bit of backstory is in order. So on March 30th, on the Discord app subreddit, my favorite subreddit, there was a photo posted of the Ukrainian military on their whole entire control station. And there's one application I am very familiar with on that screen. Now this photo originated from a New York Times article, which I can't see because I haven't subscribed, but there's something that I need to point out. Removing that banner, you'll notice that this image is cropped. And why was this image cropped? Well, if we go to the Wayback Machine, we can actually go to the New York Times article and bypass the paywall, which is fantastic, but we can see this image, and let's just open it in a new tab in Enhance Mode. So looking at the image, let's look at Discord. Enhance. Enhance. One more time. Little too much enhancement. Now, looking at this image, squinting a little bit, moving away from your monitor and zooming in and out, you could figure out the Discord username of this specific account. Now, the second the creatures of Discord figured out this fella's username, they sent them a friend request. In fact, people on Reddit even bring yeah, I sent them a friend request. But I can't help but notice they actually have an icon for their server, so good job, y'all actually did some customization to make it the best tactical Discord server of all time. But there is one thing I'm surprised about. It's the fact that I don't see an e-girl paradise or a girl cafe gun server in their server list. Gosh, what are you guys doing? Now, of course, discussing military tactics with your homies in the Hangout voice chat is really not the most secure thing on the platform, and people on Reddit were, of course, concerned. And I really questioned myself. Would the military use Discord, actual Discord, for military strategy? And I thought, no, they must have done something a little more complex. And someone brought up the idea that they might be using Foscord and hosting it on their own servers. Now, Foscord is a free and open source Discord client. Now, I'm not going to talk about it too much because it's kind of nerdy, but Foscord basically changed to Spacebar Chat because Discord got mad. I'll have a video linked in the description by Brody Robertson that really just scratches your nerd itch if you're craving to figure out why they changed their name. But looking at their FAQ for Spacebar, bar, formerly known as Foscord, you can see that there is currently no voice or video support in any spacebar instance. So yes, this image of the Ukrainian military using Discord is true, which is completely insane. Now let's get back on topic and let's get to the cream of the crop. Who was the original leaker of these military documents? And the rabbit hole starts off with this beautiful image. We're on the Minecraft Earth Map Discord server, which is actually not public anymore and the invites are disabled. Now for some reason, and these rule breakers were talking about politics and political chat talking about the Ukrainian and Russian war, and things were thankfully coming to a close. A user apologized for being a little bit abrasive, and the user said, nah, I'm not oversensitive. And of course, when you talk about being oversensitive, this one creature of Discord decides, here, have some leaked documents. And it's leaked confidential documents about the Russian-Ukraine war. And I think everyone's response to this would be nice. Now, is this person in the Minecraft map community the original leaker of these documents? No. The rabbit hole goes even 
deeper. Where did these photos come from? Turns out that Bellingcat stalked this person's Twitter, where they then said that these documents were from another Discord server called Wow Mao, which is a Discord server for the YouTuber Wow Mao. Now, if you don't know who Wow Mao is, let's listen to Wow Mao talk about Wow Mao, which was then portrayed by the media about Wow Mao. That made no sense. The server that Mr. Toller Trek the leaks to belongs to a popular YouTube channel called Wow Mao, which creates quote low effort meme videos with titles like which communist would you smoke with and who is the better philosopher Diogenes versus Jordan Peterson. Honestly, this is a beautiful advertisement for Wow Mao, and also the full link of this will be in the description. It's a beautiful watch. But according to Wow Mao, one of their server moderators, of course it's one of the server moderators, that's always how it is, was the person that sent over 30 classified military documents. But here is the thing, this server moderator is still not the original leaker of the documents. In fact, Bellingcat dove a little bit deeper and said that the Discord server Thug Shaker Central could be the original source of these documents. Now here's the thing, I'll save you reading through all these paragraphs, but Bellingcat doesn't really have any concrete proof, but they did say something that is very damning, that the name of the Thug Shaker server frequently changed, sometimes to that of a racial slur. And by God, as someone that deals with the weirdest folks on Discord, that is the smoking gun. This is, of course, the server that originated with the leaks. I'm just kidding. But past that, though, the trail went cold. But this still raises the question, how did the Thug Shaker server get their hands on these documents? And of course, I don't know, but I can only speculate. Now, of course, my speculation might have a little bit of merit to it, but we already know that the Ukrainian military is hopping on the Discord in the voice call, maybe playing a couple of those premium activities. And since they're on Discord, Discord is known for a lot of scams. I've covered an absolute butt ton of them, and just maybe one of the soldiers fell for these e-girl scam servers, where, oh my goodness, I've been in the military for a long time, long time away from home and family, maybe the hormones are coming up, they go on one of these e-girl servers, and, ah, uh, did I get kicked from it? What the fuck? Oh, it got terminated. Anyways, I guess I go on this one, but when you go on one of these e-girl servers, and I had to cut there because there was nudity all over the screen, baby, but when you go to one of these servers and you click on verify, it asks you to scan a QR code with your Discord mobile app. And doing this basically makes you log into the scammer's computer. That is a very gross oversimplification. But of course, this isn't the most sophisticated scam on the planet, but it does catch a lot of people. And I can only imagine the military watching my videos on Discord scams to keep themselves safe. Soldiers, we cannot compromise our operational security by scanning these QR codes from these hot Discord servers. Now, if you bring your attention to the board, here's some examples of other scams. Hello my little gumdrops and angels, today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to become a VTuber on Discord. But jokes aside, like I said, there are a lot of very sophisticated Discord scams that are extremely easy to fall for, so that could be one possible scenario. And the other possible scenario is that someone's just in the military and they're posting these confidential documents for the meme. Because yes, some people on the internet are that stupid. We have TikTok, for God's sake. Anyways, like I said, definitely check out the links in the description, both the Wow Mao video talking about their whole experience with the uh, leaked NATO documents, and also Brody Robertson for explaining why Foscord got changed, because there's some pretty interesting watches. Anyways, I can't wait for the future where I get to report on Roblox being the new hotspot for leaked military documents. That's obviously a joke, I can't predict the future. Love you, bye bye. Mwah.